from ABC7. This is an Eyewitness News special report. And hello everyone, I'm Kathy Vara. And I'm Gene Gleason. We continue with our coverage of the ongoing rolling blackouts in Southern California. Port Charles can be seen at 2.45 a.m. tomorrow morning, so you can set your VCR to pick up Port Charles. Now we're looking outside once again. This week on SoapNet, it's Port Charles. The first thing that I this marriage is just for show. Not for me. I care about you an awful lot, but I love Eve, and you know that. I'm afraid you're never gonna leave her. I promise you, we're gonna be together. Have you ever felt the one you love slipping away? I want you to stay away from my husband. It's coming up next, right here on SoapNet. Five minutes till we open the doors. Oh, man. I still cannot believe we pulled it off. Oh, hell of a thing. Your friend's pitching in to help us pass inspection. Oh, man, yeah. yeah tell me about it. Up in one house, and when she sprained her ankle, man, I thought it was over. Oh, where is she anyway? Oh, she'll be here. She says she has something to do first. I don't know. Oh, I didn't think she'd miss something like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. What about Livy? I thought for sure she'd be dropping by first thing in the morning, checking things out. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, come on, dude. I saw you guys working yesterday. And I was definitely getting the vibe between you two. Yeah, so was I. Till she put up that big wall she puts up. You know, her usual M.O. Hey, man, what's up with that? Honestly, I don't care. I basically told her to have a nice life. <laughs> Besides, man, forget about all that. It's showtime, baby. Ah, Let's go. Oh, Open easy, up. easy, easy up. man. Come on. It's not like there's a big line of people waiting out outside my no. door. Hello, Jamal. Well, I guess you're here to gloat, right, Granny? Guess again. Oh, wait, here. Hey, um, hey, here, I can help you. Oh, Let me no, help. actually, Lucy, I got this part, but can you get the door for me? Oh, uh, yeah. Wait, don't tell me you deliver now. This is so great. I don't cook. Oh, no, no, actually, we don't. It's just, it's the opening day at the bike shop, you know, so I'm just Oh, the bike, yep, that's right. I, I, I heard about that. I heard about yeah. the bike shop. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. You should yeah, stop I, by. I, I, you know, I would like to see it. Okay. So we're all set. That's excellent. All we have to do is wait for the word from Ian. Now, Pete, uh, no, 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 I'll be in touch with you. And Pete, nobody. That means nobody can know about this. No, no, I know you do. I, I, and thanks for all your good work. How about what? Lucy. That's a big secret. We need to talk. I said what I had to say last night. And do you really believe that, that I won't be able to leave Ariana? After everything she's gone through, yeah, it's not that hard to imagine. Hey, I promise you, we're gonna be together. I wanna believe that, Ian. I really do. But maybe now isn't our time. Come with me. Where are you going? Where are we? What are you doing? This is our time. I'll make it our time. I came to see my granddaughter. What, after all the trouble you caused? I have no idea what you're talking Granny, come about. on. Don't try to con a con. <laughs> I assure you Well, that... let me fill in the blanks. Are you sending a building inspector on us to try to shut us down? You give me far too much credit. I simply came by to wish you both well in your new venture. And that's the only reason why you came by? And to extend an invitation. An invitation. An old family friend of... Allison's came back into town. So? I'm planning to give a dinner party in Chad's honor. And I would like for you both to come. <sighs> yeah, right, when hell freezes over. Hmm. Nice rump lights. 
Thanks. <laughs> I'm, uh, fixing her up for resale. Jamal around? He's, uh, he's a little busy, but... Samantha. But you can call me Sam. I'm Jack. Maybe I can help you out. I bet you can. Libby, do you want to let one stupid night when I got drunk and nothing happened stand in the way of us being together? Or do you want to let yourself feel all the good stuff that you really feel? bad time no actually um grandma's out with the nurse and i was just why don't you come on in thanks i'm sorry i didn't call first i was in the neighborhood and <sighs> to be honest i've missed you so i heard you and lucy got back together yeah and I know you're still angry at her for what happened with Jack. Well, maybe you can get over her and Jack being together, but I can't. Well, try and remember there were extenuating circumstances. First, you and I had just broken up with them both. Second, they didn't know who each other were. And third, they'd done a fair amount of drowning their sorrows over us. And four, you were all keeping it from me. So, we're hereby convicted of being flawed human beings and therefore banished from your life. Is that how it works? Livy, I know a lot of people have let you down, but if you start closing the door on everyone who makes a mistake, the world is going to get pretty lonely pretty fast. Lucy, I'm so glad to see you, because maybe I won't forget again. But Mary wants to have you and Monk come over for dinner. Any night would be good, uh, except Monday. Uh, Mary works Mondays, and Wednesdays I have my Toastmasters. Uh, Fridays, but Fridays, we just started our Bambuka classes. Bambuka, of course, is the national ballroom dance of Colombia. And, you know, you and Monk really ought to take advantage of their, their trial class, no obligation, because you're tall. And Bambuka is stop, a... Stop, Victor, just stop. You're changing the subject. You know me better than that. I will get back to the subject I want to speak about, so let's do it now. Whoa, whoa. You know what I'm talking about, Ian. There is some sort of big thing going on with Ian, and I want to know what it is, and no one will tell me, which makes me more determined to find out what it is, so just tell me. Lucy, hush. What? Stop. <sighs> this is one time in your life when you need to pull back, because this is much too complicated and very dangerous for your own good. M-Y-O-B. M-Y-O what? And your own business. And I mean it, Lucy. All right, Victor. Saturday. Saturday is perfect. Can you tell Mary? Saturday would be fine. Great. Good. Oh, gosh. Oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry. It was totally Lucy, my fault. right? Yeah, that's, that's right. That's me. Oh, you probably don't remember me. I'm Ariana, Ian Thornhart's wife. You know, of course, I remember you because you are Ian Thornhart's wife. How, how is Ian, my good, good friend Ian these days, huh? Oh, I love you so much. I'm so afraid. You're afraid of what? This is getting away from us. Somehow we're losing control. I'm losing control right oh, now. No, I'm serious. Wait, wait. Last night, this couple came into the ER. And every time he tells her that he wants out of the marriage, she hurts herself. So now he's stuck in this loveless marriage. The way I'm stuck with Ariana. I'm afraid you're never going to leave her. And, and not, not because, look, I'm afraid that you are worried that she won't be OK without you. And I know this is not her fault, but this situation is just taking on a life of its own. <sighs> We just have to be patient. She told you she loves you. The longer this goes on, the harder it's going to be for everyone. If I could be with you right now, I would be. You know that. I know, I do. But there's one thing I can't get out of my head. What's that? Ariana is your wife. 
and you share everything with her. And, and she is this beautiful, amazing woman who loves you and adores you. And she, most of all, needs you. She needs you. And I'm me. I let go when when every time I remember I just get angry all over again. It's not easy. Take it from me and Lucy. But one thing we've gotten better at is learning how to look past the mistakes to what's really important. <laughs> that you two really love each other. And we've been able to do that by learning how to forgive. All right. What do you do when when your head tells you one thing, but your heart completely tells you something else. Well, that's easy. Go with your heart. It'll never steer you wrong. Oh. That's an emergency. I have to go. Okay. Try and remember that. Follow your heart. Anything you can do to help me? Yeah, I'm sure I can think of one or two things. Hold on a second. Uh, hello? Hmm. I guess I had the wrong number. Now, uh, where were we? I believe you were about to take me for a test drive. Allison, I, I don't understand you. Chad is a good friend, and he's expecting you. Well, I don't care. So what am I supposed to do? Leave Chad hanging? <laughs> Actually, that's very funny, hanging Chad. Uh, but no, Nana, we're still not coming to dinner. I was so hoping we'd get a chance to, to make things right between us again. I'm sorry, after this last night you pulled, I, I don't think so. What's done? Look, Nana, I just want you to be gone and stay gone, okay? Oh, <sighs> that girl is impossible. Yeah, well, you pushed her away. I know my granddaughter, and she, she can't turn her back on her family for long. Look, you're not a family anymore. I am. And what happens when you get tired of her? Look, I won't get tired of Allison. Not ever. So unless you got a bike that needs fixing. So, uh, in, in, anyways. Okay. I'm sorry. So, Sam, was it? Yeah, that's right. Oh. And Jack here was about to check out my ride. Oh, right. I'm sure he was. I'll, uh, I'll just meet you at the bike bike. All right? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, uh, what's with you in a leather sled? Hey, huh? hey, chill out. She's a customer. I'm just taking care of her. Oh, I'm sure you are. Hey, I'll, uh, just go and get my helmet, and then I'll be right over. I found your friend Jamal. Oh, come by yourself. He's here. <laughs> Me? I'm just getting to know the staff. I have to tell you, you know, you really hit the jackpot with Ian. He's quite mm -hmm. a catch. And he's much more than that. Yeah, he's kind and sensitive and caring. Oh, that is just so sweet. It sounds like you're still in the honeymoon phase, so everything's just perfect, huh? Well, we did have our um, first little mis misunderstanding last night. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. You know, these little misunderstandings happen in a new marriage, especially a new marriage that was so sudden. It was sudden, and I know some of Ian's friends must be concerned, but they needn't be. Ian and I are going to have a long and happy life together. I'm sure of it. Oh, good Ian. Chelsea asked me to bring this over to you. Oh, thank you. 
Better hold the phone. Okay. Oh, it was so nice talking to you. Um, I better get these to my husband before they get called. Oh, yeah. Okay, tell your husband hi. Uh, for me, please. Uh, tell, tell him hi. Okay, take care. Bye. What are you doing? Nothing. That's good, because I'd hate to think that you were poking your nose into Ian's business just minutes after I asked you not to. Look, you. I may not know what's going on with Ian because some people don't want to tell me. But what I do know is Ian is in love with Eve. And Eve is in love with Ian. And that that Mrs. Thornhard person, she hasn't gotten the message yet, obviously. So whatever you are doing, whatever you're cooking up, you better do it quickly, Victor. I'm telling you, or somebody's going to take a great big fall here. Let me tell you something, Lambert. You are all I want. All I need. Ian, you... Not just because of those... Beautiful, beautiful eyes and that incredible smile. Those luscious lips. But because there's a strength in you like I've never seen. And that's what makes me love you. More than anything. I love you so much, it scares me to death. You don't have to be scared of nothing. I told you. What we went through on that island. The only thing I learned from that is that we are meant to be together. The chief said. Yeah, I don't that worry about what the chief said. You believe what's in your heart. You believe that I love you, don't you? And that you're everything to me. Mm. 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 No, this is not good. I mean, being this close to you and not being able to be with you. I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. I'm leaving. Well, I'm not letting you go. Ian, I'm I... not gonna lose you. Not now. Not ever. This is killing me. <clears throat> we have to stop. You have to go. Uh, mm. I can't do this anymore. All right. Try not to, uh... No, wait, listen, I can't help but worry. No matter what you say, Ian, I'm terrified of losing you. You won't. Leave. Yeah, well, it wasn't before letting me know that this is your last chance to make peace with your family. Uh, I know. Allie, I think she's serious. Look, Jamal, listen. I have my friends, and I have my life, and most importantly, I have you. Okay? Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. Huh? You know I'll always be there for you, don't you, Spunky? I'll never let you down. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. Where's all this coming from? Nowhere. It's just, I want you to know I'm in this for keeps. All right, now that I love you. I love you too. <clears throat> Libby! Sorry Hi. to interrupt no, you. No, no, you uh, didn't. It's okay. Wait, is Jack around? I <clears throat> wanted to talk to him. Yeah, he is. Yes. Um, and he, I think he's out there uh, fixing a bike. Hey, anyone see Jack's oh, gloves? Here they are. By the way, don't expect Jack back anytime soon. Why is that? Our test drive may take a while. Sam. Sam. Jack's going out with her? 
Well, Livy, I mean, you just, you like blew him off so many times that I think they may just. Bike shop. I don't understand. Why do you want to hold? We're all set to go. I appreciate your help, Victor. I will let you know if anything changes. Thanks. Ian. Hi. Hey, Lucy, hi. How are you? Um, great, actually. Um, by the by, I, uh, I just spoke with your wife. Did you? Whiskey, large glass, no ice. Thank you. So the question of the day is how are you going to dig yourself out of this one? Ariana, are, are you all right? Not really. Well, what's wrong? I want you to stay away from my husband. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Poor Charles. Time in a bottle. On the next Poor Charles. I've known Eve a long time, and she's not gonna just wait around forever, you know? It's only natural Ian wants to be with you. But? But we both know I can't let him go. The residents of Pine Valley always seem to be getting into trouble. Find out what they've stumbled into this time with All My Children, coming up next on SoapNet, soap watching made easy. The residents of Pine Valley always seem to be getting into trouble. Find out what they've stumbled into this time with All My Children, coming up. You never know who you